welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm in Villa Sulzeco in France, the last round of the Women's World Championships. Uh, the track's looking really good. It was a bit wet this morning, but they, the team have prepped and done a really good job and it's looking really tacky and nice for tomorrow. It's a really cool layout, nice French track with a lot of hills. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. The track should be really good. So I'll see you guys after practice and qualifying. So it's Sunday morning, as you can see it's really cold. Uh, Saturday was a bit of an up and down day for me. I did good in qualifying, I, I qualified 11th, but it was really close between me and the top se um, top seven girls. So I think I could have got a little bit better, but you know, I still got a good gate pick and my times were up with the girls, so I was happy and I was feeling really comfortable on the track. And in the first race, I got a pretty good jump. I know I knocked the gates into the first corner. I was quite up the back of the pack, but I stuck tight and um, passed quite a lot of girls and then all through the first lap I was passing, passing, passing. Um, end of the lap one I was in 10th and I just got um, cleaned up by another rider unfortunately, just racing I guess, but I was really, really bummed about that so I was back to 23rd again. I worked my way forward to about 15th and it was raining and hailing by then and the track was quite slippery and I I crashed down a hill and my bike didn't want to start after that and it's just my race went really downhill from there just I guess trying to push the conditions a bit but my speed was good I was still like managed to get all the, all the jumps and stuff in the wet so I was really happy about that but just yeah really bummed with the results I feel like lately I've been riding well just stuff's been going just not coming together for me so Hopefully a better day today, so I'll see you guys after my morning. Imaginez pour un petit pays comme la Lettonie, ça va être Who's done for me? It was actually quite a rough race for me. It was really wet. Uh, the track crew didn't get to prepare the track overnight, so they left all the ruts and it rained, rained, rained. So just a lot of water in the ruts. So the track was really slippery. Considering the track was so wet, I was actually feeling pretty good. But unfortunately, one uh, on my first lap, I got a flat front tire, which made it really, really hard for me for the rest of the race. Because trying to ride the mud with a flat front tire or any condition is just really hard and there was one steep hill that everyone was getting stuck on and I just like no matter how fast I went by the time I got to the top of the hill I just have like no speed just because my bike was so heavy and not getting dry because of the flat tire so I was really frustrating but I kept picking myself up but every time I'd crash there just kept going because you never know what could happen in a mud race but so I was actually feeling really good. I picked off quite a few girls and I think I was like basically inside the top 10. I think I got four laps in, which is actually as bad as that sounds. It was not bad considering I had a flat tire and once you get stuck on that hill, it takes forever to get going. Like, oh. But unfortunately, later on after my race, I found out my transponder stopped waking up for lap one. So I said I only did one lap, which was really disappointing. Like I still got 16 for something because a lot of girls didn't even get to finish one lap. But I guess that's just part of racing. I was, can't do much about it, but I'm pretty happy with the way I rode, you know, even though I got stuck on the hill. Um, I know I was riding the rest of the track as best as I could. But considering how bad the track was and how hard today was, um, I think we're finishing the GP on a bit of a high. Just with, I think my effort levels mainly, I am feeling pretty happy with myself. Like, it's not easy. I'm happy, you know, to, I think it's, it's been a really hard season for me, but I finished on a good note for myself. So that's all that matters to me. And I think that's all that matters to my team as well. Like my daddy, I think he's could see that I was trying really hard. <laughs> dad for helping me all season it's been quite a hard season for the both of us just being us throughout the GP camping in the van you know but um 
yeah, it's just put in so much effort every week, you know, the, how muddy my bike was today. I felt so sorry for him having to watch it. But, you know, we both really enjoy each other's company this season. And I think we both learn a lot from it.